All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna go to our very first Cars and Coffee for 2024. Not any Cars and Coffee, we're gonna go do the real wheel deals. Plan is, I wanna take the FL5, but it's pretty filthy and dirty from being stored over the winter. Let me show you how dirty it is. So this is from last year. I know it's pretty, like, it's pretty dirty, you guys. I know I didn't I didn't clean it. I just parked it, and it's pretty. It's my bad, but it's pretty dirty. Look at that. This is from all the uh, brake dust and from the uh, Advan or the Yokohama 8009s that I ran last year. These are 8008s. Yeah, 8008. It's from the 8009, but it's dirty. Super, super dirty. Like so. Let's go get her clean. Now we are dry. She cleaned up really nice, you guys. Nice and super clean. Tell ya, paint protection is the way to go. This whole thing is all nice and wrapped. Don't have to worry about scratches or anything. You know the one thing about the uh, FL5? I'm not sure why this didn't do a lip right from the, uh, the factory, because without a lip, it just feels missing. It just feels empty there, so. I'm not sure if they, uh, like they purposely did it from, just so that you can do aftermarket stuff, but for sure. You gotta get a lip for this uh, this FL5 here. Look at that. Yeah, looks missing. Okay, off the cars and coffee. All right, we are here. There's something about when the car is nice and clean. Well, not clean anymore now, but it's something about a car that uh, when you walk away and if you don't look back, you got the wrong car. Sheesh! Look at this. Got Jay's, mine. Lucas and of course Claude Clemon over there in the orange forerunner. Let's go check out this uh, cars and coffee. Are they not supposed to do that? Another BMW. I don't think so. It's getting warm. There right, you got my coffee. Paul is enjoying himself already. Breakfast. What do you got? Number one. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Seriously? That's not a polo shot though, is it? No. <laughs> Even though we cleaned the car, it's unfortunately it got uh, a little bit of rain on and the car is all dirty, but still a good turnout. Got a couple of clean 8.6. Hmm, look at that. Yes. And we got in the rear dog fight that go going on. Yeah. This one caught my eye. Just uh, the wheel itself. Kind of interesting. Painted over. Advan. <laughs> got a couple of Integra Type R's. Too. Hey, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, no worries, man. Get the immediate steering wheel. Very nice. And over here we got the CRV. All rusted out, but wrapping the uh, T37s in white. That's the stuff you're going to see here in Canada, you guys. The weather is just pretty crazy. Here you got David's uh, Datsun, super clean. This is his second one that he has because the other one got in a car accident and got written off. But uh, this is his new one. 
And of course we got real wheel deal. And his S2K with his e -derbs. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's e right there. Somewhere in there, but very clean. Mugen. Wheels. These are pretty nice here. All right, so this one just pulled up. Nice, clean EG. Repping in the spoon calipers. Pretty nice. And of course, raised lugs. The 37 SLs. All right, so one of the spots just opened up because I showed up pretty late. I don't have a, I don't have a good parking space, but now I want it to open. I'm gonna go run and get my car and go park in front of the restaurant. So finally, the sun is out and whoo, sheesh. Look at this, you guys. It just shines in the sunlight. But uh, yeah, despite a little bit of rain, but we are here and uh, absolutely beautiful. Good turnout. You want to show us your uh, seats? Oh, sure. when, when did you get them? The seats? Yeah. No, it came with the car. It came I with bought, the car? I bought it built already. Oh, so I nice. Bought this, uh, I actually bought it. Sorry, it's got dirty. <laughs> oh, no worries. I bought it from uh, Bring a Trailer. Bring it. Oh, really? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Has it anything done under the hood? Yeah, it's case swap. Can, oh, can we see it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hello. He's got two hours before on the What kind of power is it put down? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. You haven't put on a dyno yet, it's eh? It's getting dyno on Wednesday. Oh, nice. Yeah. What are you expecting? We're hoping. 200. I'd be putting more than 200. Well, it's on IDBs too, yeah. so you know, sometimes IDBs they don't make that much power. Yeah. Sheesh! Sounds nice, probably, eh? Uh, yeah, it sounds yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, if you open it up, it sounds pretty good. But yeah, right now, I don't want to push it too hard. It's not, it's not running right. Oh, right really, now, so. eh? Running rich? It's definitely running yeah, rich. Rich yeah, rich is good. Yeah. Rich is better than lean. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, this hopefully is, we get tuned. Uh, this is nice here. Yeah. Where did you come out of the States? No, actually, come from Calgary. Calgary. Yeah. Calgary. Nice. Yeah. This is nice, guy. Nice. Uh, this guy seems to <laughs> build everything. And, uh, so it's a K20 okay. from uh, UOR. Yep. And uh, so the transmission has the uh, FD, uh, the 5.3 final drive or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So the gearing is super short. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It, you just shoot constantly. <laughs> yeah. Like on the highway, like 100k, 100 yeah. kilometer an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, like 4K. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I like it. Very nice. If you know, you know. We got the uh, Rough World. And uh, if you know these guys, very exclusive. Exclusive club. Oof. All right, guys, as you can see, we're back at the shop now. Cars and Coffee was pretty, uh, pretty good turnout. It was pretty successful, I'd have to say. Um, despite, you know, we got rained on after I cleaned up the Civic and it was, it was, it was flawless, you guys, but it is what it is. Uh, I got called out pretty much because I didn't put the wheels on. I didn't put the uh, advance back on this at this moment. I was kind of lazy because we have another uh, car show uh, at the end of the week here and I didn't want to take it off and clean the barrel and stuff all, all over again. So that's the reason why I didn't put it on, but, you know, Peter kind of uh, rained down on me. But anyways... So the, I kind of want to talk uh, about the new seats and the steering wheel. Now that I finally got an opportunity to actually drive it for the first time with the new setup, uh, let me just put on this tripod here and then I'm go over everything with you guys. All right, so I want to give you guys the good. The goods is the seats are just fantastic. I know some of you guys are like talking about like, wow, the Type R seats are perfect, ready. Right? Don't why are you changing them out? But you know what? You can't really compare or make a comment on something that you've never tried, right? Uh, you try the Civic stock seats, but you've never s tried it with an aftermarket seat. And I'm telling you, it's day and night. I find the Civic, uh, the Type R seats, just a little too cushy. Like it's just 
too squishy when you're on the corners, but I took a couple corners with this, spot on. All right, guys, let's talk about the bad. So the bad is the steering wheel setup. Even though I love the ASM look and the, the horn is just spot on, there's nothing wrong with the steering wheel, which is the, the steering wheel setup here. It just, I, was, I just wasn't a big fan of it. First thing I know is turn signal. It's a little too far. I, I'd literally have to take my hands off the, uh, off the steering wheel, just to signal. And then two, where the button, I understand that, you know, the button relocation has to be down there or the way it's set up just because of the steering wheel. But it just, I, I love my music and I love my uh, convenience. And it just wasn't, I, I gave it a shot and I'm not a big fan of it. And I'm definitely, I'm gonna go back to stock for sure, you guys. So keep that in mind if you're gonna change out your steering wheel, if you're gonna go with this kind of setup, just a little too far, just taking your hands off um, and the, where are the location of the buttons. I thought I would get used to it, but yeah, just keep that in mind if you guys wanna do this setup. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Tune in to next week for uh, Driven Calgary. We will be there. We'll see you guys there too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya.